Hi, I'm James Weatherill, manager at Huntsdale State Fish Hatchery in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to watch a video on the spawning of the rainbow trout at Huntsdale Hatchery. Females are going into the tub. These are being put into a solution that knocks the fish out so that they don't, aren't stressed when you are spawning them. They're getting the males now, putting them into the solution in the tub. It's an anesthesia which knocks the fish out so that you can handle them and the stress to the fish is minimized. Here we're removing the eggs from the female and adding the milt from the male to fertilize the eggs. The milt is just another term for sperm and the males are in the one tub, the females are in the other tub. Water temperature is 58 degrees. You can see them remove the fish, rinse the fish because of the solution having the anesthesia. You want to rinse that anesthesia off before you strip the eggs out into the bucket. He's activating the sperm. Now it has about a minute to fertilize that egg. It's a micro pile that actually is open that allows that sperm to penetrate the egg, get inside the egg, and fertilize the egg. The eggs have now been fertilized and we've brought them into the hatch house after they've water hardened for one hour. After one hour you can handle the eggs and you can move the eggs, transport the eggs because they have become water hardened after one hour. So he's displacing all of those eggs. He's looking right at that cylinder at what the number is that he just dumped into there. So if he started at 200 and even in that cylinder you can see some white ones and those are the dead eggs. But He's going to fill that up to a certain amount and then if it was at 200 and he ended up at 400 or 500, he basically had 200 or 300 milliliters of eggs that he can enumerate or count out and that's how we count how many eggs we've taken during that spawn during that day. After he counted the number of eggs that we used in the spawn, he puts them onto what's called an egg battery. This is a tray that holds one and a half milliliters or one and a half liters, which is 1,000 500 milliliters of eggs. They go on to these trays on an egg battery. Here the eggs have hatched. They've eyed up, they've hatched, they've come out of their egg shell. All the shells have been removed. This is a tray now that just has the sac fry. They are now absorbing their sac their egg sac. They will absorb this egg sac and feed off of that egg sac for maybe a week to up to 10 days depending on water temperatures. If your water temperatures are a little warmer they'll develop a little quicker and they'll use the sac fly a little faster. Our water temperature at 55 takes about a week to 10 days. They will get put back onto a tray, back onto that battery after all the egg shells and dead eggs are removed, so basically it's a tray full of just sac fry, clean sac fry, put back onto a tray for development of the fish for about a week's time period. After that sac has been utilized over that, a, a one week period, then we put them into the tanks. Right now they're developing a little bit. You'll see them swim up occasionally. One will swim up here and there. As that sac is getting developed, utilized more and more and more, the fish will start to swim up into the water column looking for food. They will, more and more will swim up and when they are all into the water column, then they basically are now, they've used all their sac up and they have to be fed. Right now you would start showing them food once you start seeing them move up into the water column a little bit more. Right now they're all on the bottom, so maybe in another two or three or four days as they come off the bottom and start swimming more actively in the water column, then you start showing them some feed. The feed size that we start them out at is called a starter feed, also called a number zero. After zero comes one, two, three, four. As they develop and grow, they eat a larger pellet size for what size the fish are. And they get thinned up into other tanks, but when they are this small, they can stay into the tanks at this size. We keep them in these tanks and we keep them covered with a dark cover. That dark cover during the night allows them to be stress-free for the most part. 
and allows them to be much more comfortable just as they were in those egg trays with the cover on them. They're kept in the dark, which basically removes as much stress as possible to the fish. And in the tank, we basically keep them covered also. We remove that during the day to check the fish, see how they're doing, and allow them to get more acclimated to the light.